Hey everybody, Robert Wheeler here with White Bone Knives, and today I excitingly bring you my newest production knife. And being my newest, it's actually my first production knife. What I did was go contract a company, We Knives, and I pitched them the idea of my knife, and basically they produced it for me. Everything that you see on this knife is CNC machined or milled, and it's all intended for a mass production. And why would I do that being a handmade knife maker in, you know, all this uh, custom knives and, you know, things like that? Why would I do that? I'd like to open up a broader audience because I've had a lot of guys come to me and say that, oh man, I really like that knife. Uh, you know, like what, what's the best price you can do on it? And, um, you know, unfortunately I'd like to lower the prices of my custom and handmade knives, but seeing as the time and effort that are put into them, I just cannot lower them any further uh, to make a living at what I do. So I, I had a production knife made and this is the knife that uh, made the cut. Now, being totally honest with you, I don't wanna hide anything. So I wanted to let you guys know that this is a knife that is produced by a Chinese company. And that might be a red flag for some people uh, but for other people that can recognize talent, good work, you know, hard work and everything and good quality, this is a whole different animal. So, you know, why, why Chinese? Why Chinese? Well, when I originally contacted, contacted the company, I wasn't even aware that they were Chinese and uh, I started talking to them about everything that I could do, uh, back and forth between email and, uh, later I've actually found out that they were. So, uh, these guys, man, they come to Blade Show every year, you know, and they have really good, well-made knives, you know, fixed blade and folders. And I, and I know several custom handmade knife makers that live outside of the U.S. So, do I think that, uh, China has had a bad reputation for putting out blades in the past? Yes, I do. And there's a reason for that because they were producing them on a scale just to output volume. They didn't care about heat treats, they didn't care about tolerances, they didn't care about uh, leaving burrs on edges or you know this or that. It was basically trying to get a knife out the door just because somebody would buy it somewhere. This is not the case at all with Wii Knives. Uh, they take a lot of care to attention and detail in their work uh, and I'm impressed. I'm really impressed with their work so far. So if you're on the fence about, you know, buying a Chinese production knife, then that's up to you. But I will also tell you that I will be inspecting, uh, personally inspecting every single one of these blades that come from them uh, to make sure that it's up to white bone knife standards as well. And, and I, I, I have always put a lifetime guarantee on my work uh, and I'm not afraid to put a lifetime guarantee on these. Uh, I'm very pleased with what they've done with this knife and what they'll do for the future designs that I submit to them. So please understand that I'm willing to back them 100% uh, on their quality. My lifetime guarantee just covers anything including all the manufacturer's defects. You know, like your, bra your blade cracks in half or your handle falls off or, you know, something like that. Or, you know, if it's my fault or if it's Wee Knife Company's fault that you know they did something wrong and not something that you did wrong now see my my warranty doesn't cover something that you did wrong to the knife uh but I, i'm definitely 100 percent going to back up any product that i put out and i am proud to say that because i want to deliver something uh to you guys that will be you know superior or you know better better than something else or you know, I, I just want to be there for my customers. All right, so let's just t go ahead and take a look at the knife now. Enough talk, right? <laughs> but I just kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a background as to why I went this route and, you know, a little bit more of a story. So here's the knife uh, in the sheath, and it comes with a Kydex sheath with a tech lock. All right, there's the knife. And I went with a Tonto style blade. Both sides are symmetrical. Uh, it's not just a one side grind. Um, and a little bit more about the handle. Uh, this is all G10 
OD green and I actually on the spine here have put some let me see on the camera put some jimping here on the side just give your thumb an even better grip give it a bit more secure feel uh, on top of the harpoon clip right there nice little thumb ramp and back here on the butt of the knife it also has a place for your thumb that you can hold and just keep in a grip a secure grip location and to mention this is a karambit style knife it's a uh, karambit slash tonto uh, and that's why i named it the kanto k-a-n-t-o so karambit tonto and when you hold this knife the pinky goes through the bottom hole and your thumb sits right up there on the harpoon clip uh, feels really really comfy uh, but you can also switch it around like karambit style and hold it like this put your thumb up here or here wherever it feels comfortable for you um, so that's why I named it the way that I did and it feels very good in hand either way uh, not a very very thick knife it just seems to bite seems to be about right uh, the knife itself is 3 16 inch thick. Uh, this is W2 steel. And the handle scales are actually removable. The blade itself is stonewashed to be black. So, there it is guys. Uh, I got my logo right there. And, again, this is a 100% machine milled knife. I am very impressed in, with the quality of this blade. Uh, it feels really, really good, and there's it doesn't seem to be any hot spots anywhere. It just feels great in pretty much any way you hold it. <laughs> so, and guys, I just want to thank you so much for doing all that you do on my channel. You know, just following me, or subscribing, or just watching my videos in general. You know, thank you so much, and, you know, I just hit 10,000 subscribers and about 1 million views on YouTube, and about 7,000 subscribers on Instagram, and I just want to thank you so much and show you a token of my appreciation by offering a giveaway to win this knife. Um, all you gotta do is go on Instagram and repost my giveaway picture, and then tag as many friends as you can think of, because the more friends you tag, the more chances you have to win. So if you have 10 friends that you tag, you have 10 entries. If you have 100, you get 100 entries. And then all you got to do is follow me on Instagram after that. So if you do those three things, you have a chance to win this knife. And I just thank you so, so very much that you have made all this possible. And uh, I just want to give a little bit back to what you've put into giving me. But if you guys would like to buy this knife, you can do so over at my website. And I actually have a pre-order going on. So this is your chance to get the first 20 Kantos ever made, and you can do so for $185 US dollars plus 15 to ship anywhere in the US. So it'll be a flat $200 and you'll get your knife, uh, one of the first 20. And I'd really like to know what you guys think about this. Uh, you know, give me your honest opinion, and uh, I felt like I've been pretty upfront with you guys and maybe some controversial things, but you know, let me know what you think. In the end, it's all for you guys anyhow. You know, like all, like on all my videos, I just I I like to hear what you guys think. So, uh, thanks so much for supporting me and doing what I do, and thanks so much for being a subscriber, watcher, uh, you know, follower, whatever. Thank you for being with me as I go through my knife making career. All right, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.